Hey guys, what's up? It's JRP77 from JG Games. In this tutorial, we're going to be making a weapon switch tutorial. So, I kind of came up with this idea based on our Discord server. If you haven't heard, we have a Discord server. It's basically a community for game developers like us, and we just talk, we hang out. Sometimes we even end up playing a couple games. But this tutorial was inspired by Yaya Hush, I think that is. He says, JRP77, please make a video for how to get a mouse scroll event at if else statement. So that's basically what we're going to be doing. And I thought, you know what? We could use this for our next step. We could do weapon switching. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to be making a weapon switch script. So first off, we just have our same project as last time. Last time we made a bow weapon. If you'd like to see that, click on the card right now. But basically, it's Hanzo style from Overwatch. So the longer you hold down your mouse button, you can see that the charge is in the bottom left corner of the screen. I'll try to highlight that. And then as soon as I let go, it fires. And you can let this go at various intervals of time, and it will fly further based on how far you let the mouse down. And if you currently hit the enemy three times, he goes away. But we've only had it where one of them is disabled, the melee weapon is disabled, but the bow weapon is enabled. So we're going to make our weapon switch script now. So I'm going to create a new C Sharp script called Weapon Switch. I'm going to double click to open this in Visual Studio. Now, we're, it's the same drill, we're going to delete everything in our script. So first of all, we need to create a new int called weapon ID. Then we're going to create two public game objects called weapon1 and weapon2. Now you could say JRP77, you could just do an array, but I like doing it this way because I like having control over what object it is. Plus I want to set this later when we do like picking up weapons. So I'm going to create weapon1 public game object weapon weapon 2. So now we're going to go to our void start function and we're going to set which one is active first because we don't want to have both weapons initiated at the same time. So I'm going to say weapon 1 dot set active true. We want our primary weapon to be enabled first. Then we're going to say weapon 2 dot set active is equal to false. And then just for safety, we're going to set weapon ID equal to zero. This is in case we accidentally bump the key or whatever, and we accidentally set it, and so then it messes up the system. So now we're going to go into our void update, our update function. This updates every single frame. And here, first of all, we need to check to see if we have any mouse input. And we're going to be using the scroll wheel for this. So I'm going to say if input dot get access raw parentheses, quotations, mouse, scroll, wheel. And we're going to set this greater than zero. So basically what's going to happen here is if the mouse is being moved, if the mouse wheel is being moved up, then it's going to trigger this. So we're going to say weapon ID is equal to parentheses weapon ID plus one. Now we're going to create an else statement, input dot get Access raw, mouse, scroll, wheel is less than zero. Weapon ID is equal to weapon ID minus one, semicolon. Now down here, we're going to check to see what our weapon ID is, because you know in most games what happens is is that you scroll once and you go to the next weapon, then you scroll again and you go to the weapon after that. So what we're gonna say is we're gonna check to see if our number is divisible by two, or if it's an odd number, basically. So what we're gonna say is if weapon ID modulus, which is the parentheses symbol, two is equal to zero, then we're gonna set Weapon one dot set active true and then weapon two dot set active false. Now we're gonna make an else statement weapon two dot set active true then weapon one dot set active false. Alrighty, so we're going to save this script and we're going to jump into Unity. So I accidentally spelled mouse wrong and so I went back and fixed that real quick. Now if we play the scene, I have gizmos on right now. 
Now, if I click this, now you'll see that we have the box for the melee weapon. Now, if you don't remember, we basically made it to where anything inside this box gets hit with the sword, but we don't have a sword because I'm too lazy to model and animate something. So now, if we hit something, you'll notice that our enemy health goes down, but as soon as we hit the scroll wheel, you'll see, well, as soon as you hit it once, this box goes away, and as soon as I start holding down the mouse, you can see in the bottom left corner, the charge goes up, and I hit the enemy, and then the enemy goes away. So now we can switch in between our different um, weapons. We can switch between our melee weapon, and then we scroll down one, we go to our bow weapon. So that's basically weapon switching in Unity. This was a pretty quick tutorial. I hope this made some sense. If it didn't make any sense, let me know in the comments button below. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if it didn't, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Don't forget to check out our website, social media, and merch, as well as submit ideas on our Discord channel. All those links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.